Oh, you there. And welcome back to the foxhole. This is our 15th night of Creepypasta. And our story today is going to be alone. Uh, yeah, let's get started. I don't even know why I'm writing this. I can't post it in one in different places. It won't matter. There's still nobody there to read it. Nobody left to hear my story. Yet, this might be my last chance to do this. So I will. The feeling won't go away. They're watching. They're watching and getting closer every second. They can feel my terror. And I know they're enjoying it. It has been about four months since everyone disappeared. And, I mean, everyone. I woke up one morning from school. I immediately noticed the time school started three hours ago. I must have just hit the alarm clock and still half asleep. And fallen right back to sleep. It happens to me sometimes. Why hadn't my parents woke me up? Probably just went to work early first time I started to notice was at the situation. I usually take a train to school since it's the fastest way to get there. I hadn't seen anyone on my way to the station, but I lived in a rather quiet area of town. So going was slow at this time of the day. It happened so I didn't think much of it. When I arrived at the station, I noticed there was nobody there. It was odd. There should have been at least a few people waiting for the train. Even at this time of day, I shrugged it off and as an exceptionally slow day, it happened sometimes too. I waited for a good while, but the train didn't come. I don't remember how long I stood there. But I grew increasingly frustrated, decided to walk to school instead. After all, it was only a 20 minute walk if I, didn't, if I did it fast enough and I was late for the next lesson anyways. I didn't see anyone on my way to school, nor was there anyone in school. The school building was open and lit, I still didn't think much of it. The lessons were on anyways, but the classrooms were empty. Every single classroom in the whole building. Some doors were open, some closed, but there was nobody there. I tried the teacher's lounge, and it was empty. I even recalled the smell of fresh coffee in the room. I tried calling one of my friends to ask what was going on. No answer. The phone rang, but there was just, there just wasn't any answer. I tried another, same thing. I ended up going through every single person I know from school, no answer. I rushed to the shopping mall nearby, it was empty. The entire building, normally bustling with life, totally empty. The shops were open, the lights were on, the music was playing. Info screens were on. There just wasn't any strolling around or anyone strolling around the mall. Searching through the stores, manning the counters. It was like everyone had vanished entirely. I tried calling my parents. No answer. The whole day I didn't see a single living person. The only cars I saw were parked ones. There were no animals either. Everything just dead quiet. But everything still worked. The shops were open. The lights were on. The TVs worked. There just wasn't any programs. Even the internet was there. Every site worked. Every chat room was open. There just wasn't anyone there. 
I went nuts. I don't remember much of the first day, what it was like, just the feeling of unimaginable terror, loneliness. I didn't sleep much. I didn't eat at all. I just sat around my house waiting for someone to come home, for someone to call me, to hear a car drive past, waiting for the dream to end. It never did. I eventually gathered myself. I told myself nobody was coming and I had to get up and at least eat. And eat I did. I ate everything I could find. Had the date expired or not, I ate and ate and cried. I was alone. There was no sign anywhere that there'd be a single living person anywhere else in the world. No TV channels showed on any program. Some just showed the same news screens over and over. Nothing in the internet updated. Nobody ever logged in anywhere. Nobody answered the phone. Yet everything just kept working. The power never went out. The lights were always on. Traffic lights worked. The stores were open. The music played where it had always played. But everything was still empty. I eventually grew accustomed to it. It took a while. But I started going out. At first, I tried visiting friends, look for people, anyone. I soon gave it up. Before long, I realized that I needed more food than what we had at home. I just started looting grocery stores, just what I needed at first, then went to home and ate it. Before long, I started looting other goodies, candies, drinks. Maybe a month was gone and I had come to terms with my life. And the fact that there was nobody else in the world. So I made the most of my life. I started having fun. The kind of fun you'd imagine doing if you had the whole world to yourself for one day. I pillaged through every store I could think of. I stole everything I could get my hands on. I slept at beds in furniture stores. I played games with the biggest screens electronic stores had. I bought every fine piece of china I came across. Well, broke it. I rampaged through malls, leaving behind a trail of destruction. I missed my old life, but made the best of this one. It was maybe a month ago that he appeared.